from South Philly. I just turned 21 not too long ago. Yeah. I've been riding bikes since I was younger. I was, I don't even remember. Well, dirt bikes, I ain't gonna lie, I started riding dirt bikes when I was like 13, 12. I got a little Pee Wee 50. I used to practice in the park with that joint and uh, the next, like the next Christmas, my brothers and then they got me an RM85, but I didn't know how to ride at the time, so they was like, um, we just don't try to trade it for a TTR125. I got that, and then I was in the park like every day trying to practice, learn how to wheelie, and I finally got it. Then it was go mode after that. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't have a bike like consistently since since I started riding until like. What was that, 2018? No, like 2019, that's when I really got my own bike and ever since then, I had my own bike. And I, I started on pedal bikes, but I still ride my pedal bike, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't ride as much anymore, but I'm gonna start getting back. But it just, I don't know. It's just not like how it used to be riding my pedal bike, so. I don't really, I mean, it don't, like, it excite me sometimes. Like, if I go to another city, oh yeah, you tripping on my pedal, I'd be, out I, I don't care but like when i'm in philly it's just the same thing so it don't really excite me when i'm here yeah yeah dirt bikes i can ride them anywhere that's just because it's just so much you just hop on the bike you can have the best day the worst day the you can find out the worst news in your life and you hop on a dirt bike it just go away but but i ain't gonna lie I only go away for the time being like my girl always be saying that, like it only be away for the time being, but that time being when it's away, best feeling in the world. I always had my own pedal bikes. I always had my own pedal bikes since probably like 2015. Before that though, I used to try to ride people pedal bikes. But like 2015, I got this red mountain bike. That was the best best bike probably I ever had, I ain't gonna lie. And then I got the SoCal, and then after that I got the Big Rippers, and I just, upgraded from there but dirt bikes like i said i ain't have a dirt bike in how many years is that that's that's like five years then 2013 to 2018 yeah but uh yeah i'll just try to get pass offs when i can and stuff like that so maybe hop on my first bike pedal bike you know grew up in the hood everybody ride pedal bikes that's the thing everybody go and ride pedal bikes but I ain't gonna lie, I was always at basketball, but I was always trying to play basketball until I went to high school and then there wasn't no basketball team, so I said, for that, I just went strictly bikes. And then I think that was like 2015, 2014, 2014, 2015. That's why I said, I don't care about that anymore. That's why I just, I, I took pedal bike serious because I didn't have a dirt bike, so I couldn't take that too serious. Like pedal bikes back then, like it would be the same thing as a dirt bike. Like I'll hop on it, I'll just, you know what I mean, get busy. That's put my music in, be out. Like that, like, I could ride forever back then, like all night by myself. I don't care who I'm with. Dirt bike, it's like a drug, but not a bad drug. It's a great drug. <laughs> don't do drugs. Ride bikes. I mean, growing up, I used to look up to like my brother, people around my way who used to ride dirt bikes. Uh, Prince, Rel, uh, Lean from uh, South Philly used to ride dirt bikes. My man Kel, Free Kel. I just look up to them when I was a young boy because they used to come down my block. Even Meek, he used to come down my block. I used to go. That's before he was Meek Mill though. That's when he was just Meek Mills. <laughs> but yeah, like I used to look up to all them. I was just bikes, I mean, that's. But now that kids look up to me, it's cool though. How the relationship built with Prince, Rel, all them. They all basically used to ride in South Philly and all, you know, I used to see them, but they didn't know me, I ain't know them. Like, I don't know them, like YouTube, all that, but I, they didn't know me. I would start being with them because they used to ride dirt bikes and all that, so they used to be with them. And then from being with them, me and Prince, we built a relationship, like, uh, and then, yeah, we, just, we was all family, bro, for real. How did I get in one way? When I was a young boy, when I used to ride pedal bikes, because like I said, my brother was in one way. He used to be with Prince all the time and all that. And uh, yeah, just from being around them, like I said, that shit, Prince was it. Yeah, at first, when I first got in one way, I was just, I mean, like, it wasn't, it was, it was like me, Twan, Sal, like it wasn't too many of us 
like, no, no, a jig. There was a lot of people in South Philly who was riding pedal bikes, but like, that was like the only one way. He, um, yeah, that, that's just riding with them, and then that shit just built like that. And then after a while, I just got sharp. A lot of people, they stopped riding, they went day ways, did different things. Me, I just kept riding. I just still ride to the day. But yeah, everybody else, they just went separate ways. Uh, my riding style from pedal bikes to dirt bikes, it's the same thing basically. Like, I just jump all around it. I ain't gonna lie, I lost it on pedal bikes. Like, I'm way better on my dirt bike than my pedal bike now. But, like I said, I'm gonna get back. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, I just, everything I did on my pedal bikes before, I just tried on my dirt bike, and nine out of 10, I do it. How you describe me? Fearless goo. Yeah, that's how you describe it. My first sponsorship, damn, who was my first sponsorship? That's a good ass question. Damn. I'll probably say my first sponsorship was Powder Us. He definitely looked out a lot. Shout out to Powder Us. He definitely looked out a lot. Um, Armor Energy, they're not even a thing no more. That's for the peeps now, but. That was like one of my first sponsors. Uh, and back then I had a gum sponsor. Like, it wasn't real sponsors though. Like, Powder Us, they looked out. He looked out. Um, but like, the other sponsors, it was just, you know, give me gum, like Armor Energy, give me drinks, shirts, stuff like that. But it wasn't ever that nothing crazy. Uh, how I got with SC. So when I was a young boy, like I said, like 2014, I think it was, was it? Yeah, 2014, because that's when Rel died, RP Dirtbike Rel. But that's when he died. That's when I had my SoCal back in them days. And, you know, when I was a young boy growing up, you know, SC, that was the best bike. So I was grinding, grinding, grinding. I used to tag them, everybody tag them. Um, and then, yeah, they finally hit me up, what, 2016, 2017, was it? They hit me up, uh, they sent me a bike and all that. and. Yeah, they just sent me bikes and, but like, it wasn't like no real connection there. It was just like, like, oh, here go a bike, bro. Have a good one. Like, here go a bike. Like, it wasn't no real connection. Like, it was just like, um, for example, when I, when I was a young boy, I was like 17 and they was like going on trips, like the whole SC and all, like, D block, all in. Um, and I'm like, yo, when can I start going? I mean, because I'm sponsored by y'all now. Uh, when can I start going? He's like, oh, when you turn 18. I said, bet. I think it was on my birthday. I texted him. I said, yo, bro, I'm 18 now. Can I start going with y'all? Then he left. I think he ignored me, actually. Yeah, they ignored me. And I was like, all right, what the fuck? Then um, that, that's why I was like, all right. I just, like, they were still sending me a bike here and there, but I just, that's when Collective came up. Uh, it's crazy though, because at first I was about to buy the C100, because I wanted another mountain bike. It's great, SC sent me a mountain bike, like not bef like not too long before I got with Collective. They sent me a mountain bike, because I wanted a mountain bike. But that joint was hoagie, I know. <laughs> that joint was hoagie. So, uh, that's why I was going by the Collective. I was talking to Jake Warner, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, buy one, yada, yada. I guess he told like, Ryan Taylor and you know what I mean? Me and Ryan, we built a relationship. Shout out to Ryan Taylor. Um, I mean, that's my guy, he cool, but like, Collective, they cool, but I don't know. Uh, I think I think we departing, I ain't going to lie. I think I just want to rock solo, because ain't no one going to promo me or do, do for me how I'm doing for them, so I might as well just rock with myself and they know I mean if, if they change some and of course we can work some out but um yeah I'm rocking Dolo right now I ain't gonna cap I ain't gonna lie when I was a young boy I think this yeah this before I had an SC bike Crash Boys hit me up they like yeah we gonna try to get y'all SC but we gonna get y'all SC bikes and then I went down there to Chester we did like this uh video and all interview we did all that, and then they I never got my bike, so I'm like, oh, yeah, they cap. I'm like, all right, flip them. Like, all right, they, they ain't on none. So, but that's why I was like, I'm up high. Like, you know what I mean? I, wasn't, I was just like, all right, fuck it. 
Oh no, but then we linked up again. We did the uh, the one video because Prince actually told me like, "Yo, get with Crash Boys, yada yada, all that." And then ever since then, we've been locked in. Uh, I went to L.A. with Crash Boys. Uh, that shit's lit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to move to L.A. one day, one day. I'm gonna live there one day. But uh, yeah, that is just lit. I, like I said, when I go to other cities, I didn't want to go home. I was just out all night down that job. Because when I went to another city, it's just a whole different vibe. It's just lit. Like, Philly, I've been here my whole life. Why would I keep wanting to be here? And I keep seeing the same niche, keep losing people I grew up with, all that. So, like, for overall, I don't think I ever stop riding bikes until I make it with bikes. Like, it's a million things I could be out here doing, like, other than bikes, but I want to do bikes, so I'm not going to stop until I make it with that. But, like, I don't know. I just live life day by day. You know what I mean? I just go. Like, I got goals. I got ish, but I, you never know if you're going to be here or if you're going to be gone. So, you just got to grind when you're here and, you know what I mean? Live life. One thing I want in this bike world, for dirt bikes and pedal bikes, pedal bike, oh, God, that'll be world changing, no cap. That'll be, but I ain't gonna lie, I'll probably do it. That's CRF 150RB, but my way, you're, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's definitely one thing I wanna do though. I definitely wanna have my own dirt bike, pedal bike. Pedal bike, of course, dirt bike, we don't know if that, we don't know, but definitely would want my own dirt bike, that would be fire. For real, for real, how I came up with my clothing is, for real, for real, I think, no, no, I wanted to start another clothing line. It was called Young and Fearless. Because that's when I was a young boy. I was like, that's probably when I was like 15 or 16. I'm like, yeah, Young and Fearless. Um, I was thinking about making and all that, but that it's never happened. And that's when, I think, like, me and my mom and all, we was all talking about, like, clothing. Then we thought of Fearless Goat. And I'm like, damn. Like, that's, I mean, because I'm fearless. I'm a goat. I'm the goat, not a goat. And then that's when I bought the machine, I bought all everything. And then now my mom still make my S to this day. You see the vibes? Yes, sir. But uh, yeah, I just got the machines and all that. And then we just really pushed with it. I ain't gonna lie, like, with, with, cause I dropped out of school. So like with all that, they like, uh, what you gonna do if you drop out of school? Yeah, cause me, I was never a school person to begin with. I was like, I mean, I don't, I don't want to go to school, but obviously I had to go. I was under my mom and dad roof and all that. But um, yeah, so like with the dirt bike, she don't really like it. Pedal bike, she like, all right, go ahead. But dirt bike, she don't like it because you know anything can happen when you're on a dirt bike out there. You know, hit by, because I've been hit by cars, all that. So you know what I mean, but she don't really like the dirt bikes. But this my life, it ain't going. You know what I mean. So she ain't that supportive with the dirt bikes. With the pedal bikes, she cool with it. I mean, but like, with, with me dropping out of school, and I was like, yeah, I'ma just do YouTube. They like, that that is, that this ain't gonna do nothing for you, they ain't gonna. Then I made it happen though, so. I ain't gonna lie, when YouTube really picked up, when I got a better GoPro. But I was making videos every single day with like a GoPro. I think it was a four or five, but that joint was terrible. Like, it was blurry. But I'm like, cause I used to post every day. I'm like, yo, how does this ain't Like, and my videos used to be lit. Cause we, I used to get busy, but it's not about how good you are in your vlogs or you, you got really connect with them. I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm a vlogger. Like, I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm a, no, nah, I just want to show y'all my life, like with bikes, you know what I mean? I ain't that boy, I don't wanna think like that. I don't, I'm humble, humble hitter, humble goat, you <laughs> But nah, uh, I don't wanna think like, yeah, I'm the bull, I'm, yeah, I'm, you know I mean? Nah, I'm just me, I'm a regular person, just like y'all, I mean, I'm good on bikes, I live my life, just like how y'all live. Bike life is my life, literally it's my life, like, I go to sleep thinking about bikes, wake up thinking about bikes. Walk around my house, <laughs> bikes is my life, for real though.